Good morning. Two theorems are there. Minimum modulus theorem and Gauss's mean value theorem. First one is minimum modulus theorem. Suppose Fz is analytic in a domain D and that Fz is non-zero in D. Then mod Fz cannot attain a minimum in D unless Fz is constant which means mod of Fz attains a minimum in D if and only if Fz is constant, right? Then is if Fz is also continuous on D bar where D bar is your D closure and it is also given that this D bar is compact then mod of Fz attains a minimum on the boundary, right? Let's start with the proof. Now it is given that your Fz to be non-zero in D. So since Fz is non-zero in D, if Fz is non-zero, can I define 1 over Fz? If Fz is 0, then 1 over Fz cannot be defined. So 1 by Fz is defined if Fz is non-zero. And this 1 over Fz is analytic in D. It is given that your function is analytic. So I can write 1 over Fz is analytic in D. Now when the function mod Fz attains minimum at a point, suppose we say Z0 in D, if and only if, 1 over mod fz attains maximum at a point z0 in d right let's write this the function mod fz attains a minimum say at a point z0 in D. When this thing happens, if and only if mod of, sorry, 1 over mod of Fz, right? It's reciprocal. 1 over mod Fz attains a maximum at a point Z0 in D. Whenever this attains a maximum at a point Z0 in D, what thing, what thing will happen? When this will happen? If and only if you know your maximum modulus theorem, whenever it attains, any function attains a maximum in D, that means if and only if that function is constant. Or in other words, the function cannot attain a maximum in D unless Fz is constant. So to attain any point maximum in D, that function should be constant. So if and only if 1 over Fz mod Fz attains a maximum at a point Z0 in D, when this will happen? If and only if 1 over mod Fz is constant in D. Right? And if 1 over mod Fz is constant, can we write if and only if mod of Fz is constant in D? Yes. Again, what does, uh, what does this mean? If mod of Fz is constant in D, that means mod of Fz attains its minimum or its maximum in D. Hence, we write this in other words, that mod of Fz cannot attain a minimum in D unless Fz is constant. Proved the first part. See from where we start, 
the function mod fz attains a minimum at a point z0 in d and we get the result if and only if mod of fz is constant in d in other words we can uh, also state this statement as mod of fz cannot attain a minimum in d unless fz is constant in d right so we have used here maximum modulus theorem right next now it is also given that your mod fz is continuous on the compact set d bar since mod fz is continuous on the compact set it is given that your d bar is the compact set d bar whenever a function is continuous on the compact set then that function is also bounded on the compact set so every continuous function on the compact set is bounded that means it attains its a uh, minimum somewhere in d bar right because it is bounded so it attains its bound whether maximum or minimum so i am writing that mod fz attains a minimum somewhere on d bar right but we know that minimum of mod fz cannot occur at an interior point unless it is constant so we have got the result that mod fz cannot attain a minimum in d minimum in domain that means there is no uh, minimum in the interior of the domain so that minimum will occur only on the boundary so but the minimum of mod fz cannot occur at an interior point hence the minimum of mod fz must occur on the boundary proved So if you are getting this theorem in your exam, you must have to prove first your maximum modulus theorem because you are using that maximum modulus theorem in the proof of this minimum modulus theorem. We have to prove this result that a function attains a maximum at a point in D if and only if it is constant in D or in other words, a function cannot attain a maximum at a point in D unless that function is constant in d this is your maximum modulus theorem the first form we have used this result in the proof of this minimum modulus theorem so if you are getting this theorem in your exam then you have to prove first maximum modulus theorem and then you have to prove this minimum modulus theorem which are only described in the words right next Gauss's mean value theorem. This is a small simple concept. Suppose fz is analytic in the closed disk z minus z naught mod less than equal to r. So you are having a closed disk and centered at z naught having the radius small r. Then f of z naught equal to 1 over 2 pi integral from 0 to 2 pi f z naught plus r e the power i to theta d theta. You have to prove this. This is very simple one. You have to just apply your first Cauchy's integral formula. So I'm, I'm applying that by Cauchy's first integral formula What is that? The function at z0 is equal to 1 over 2 pi iota integral from you are having first the closed disk which is given to be mod z minus z naught equal to r 
f of z over z minus z naught dz. This is your Cauchy's integral formula. Because closed disk is given, we have to uh, change this in the polar form, which is equal to we have to just let z minus z naught equal to r e the power iota theta, right? From there, you will get z is equal to z naught plus r e the power iota theta, and your dz is equal to r e the power iota theta iota into d theta. Just you have to put these values back in the formula and we'll be getting f of z naught is equal to 1 over 2 pi iota integral from now you have to also change this limit from 0 to 2 pi since it is your closed disk f of instead of z i'm writing z naught plus r e the power iota theta over mod of z minus z naught means r e the power iota theta and dz will be r iota e the power iota theta d theta right so this will be cancelled out your iota will cancel out with this we will be left with our required result 0 to 2 pi f of z naught plus r e the power iota theta right hence the result all right guys here ends up our contents of the applications of the Cauchy's theorem and <coughs> If you need my real analysis course, you can check your this description box and you will get the link for that. Thank you for watching all these videos. Have a nice and lovely day. Thank you. Goodbye.